guys well I think I'm live here I believe if everything's working good and we cross our fingers right well I haven't been live in about a week or so and I thought I'd be come on here real quick and uh, the uh, dogs are out of the house and there should be no barking now <laughs> unless it's a neighbor dog and I thought oh it's kind of quiet so I'm going to uh, hop on here for just a few minutes and uh, happy Friday and uh, just hope you have a good weekend and uh, I was thinking I'm in the studio today and I'm trying to get some uh, work done some painting but also uh, business type work that we have to do and I thought you know I haven't been live for a, a little bit and I wanted to share a couple things with you so my name is Vicki Jean Wilson and uh, my business is Vicki Jean Wilson Art and I help you to create art that you love and that might be through online painting events or in-person painting events uh, it could be uh, art classes uh, just uh, with yourself I go to homes to do that too uh, go to businesses so anyway I have a mixture of uh, different places I go to to teach so but some of that is online also on my Facebook uh, page uh, Vicki Jean Wilson art so uh, I wanted to kind of share with you a few upcoming things that I have uh, going on first if you did not see the post or if you're not part of my page then you need to be so you can kind of keep up with things right and uh, one of them is I painted this now I don't have the original with me I've got it in a gallery now but a different location but he was a little owl and I had a lot of comments on him and uh, he was created with lots of different texture now when you're painting if you're uh, new to painting you might learn something uh, and even if you've painted for a while this might be a different technique that you've not ever used before when you create texture on a painting there's different ways to do it I like to personally do a lot of palette knife painting uh, and I've done some videos on those too and we'll do some more in the future uh, you can do it with uh, different uh, paint mediums different type of things that you can buy to create uh, your paint to be uh, thicker and to spread kind of almost like butter on your on your uh, canvas or wood whatever you're painting on but another fun way that I haven't done in many many years and for some reason I think it was because of Christmas I really do think it's because Christmas when you get all that extra tissue paper and I have a hard time uh, I like kind of things neat and tidy but I still have a hard time throwing away things that I can reuse so tissue paper gift wrap paper not toilet paper but gift wrap paper is one of those things even though you can do toilet paper and I have a whole other issue and, and, and idea about that but right now we're going to use the gift wrap paper that you get in your your gift wraps right so at Christmas we have abundance right and everybody usually always throws that stuff away now you can reuse that recycle that or you can of course go to your Dollar General or your Dollar Tree or whatever and get some cheap uh, of the white tissue paper now you don't have to use white even though I do prefer white because it just covers better but I am getting ready in March to show you how to use that to create texture in your art now the painting that we are going to do is an owl uh, it's called Little Hoot if you go back on my page you will see the picture of him like I said he's not with me right now but I will show you another painting that I did that has the same type of technique and it's this little guy here can you see the texture in it see all the, the yummy different line work all of that in that painting it's all the way through it top and bottom all the way across and that is created by using the tissue paper so I thought since I do teach some different techniques uh, you mainly acrylic painting sometimes watercolor but mostly acrylic painting I thought that might be kind of a fun little workshop for us so I want to buzz on here real quick and just to remind you I have posted it but in case you didn't see it 
And I do need to keep reminding people, I'm going to have, let me grab my calendar right here. I want to make sure that I give you the right dates. But I'm going to be having a workshop that we will be painting the little hoot, the little owl. And it's the 1st of March. Well, it's actually kind of mid-March, actually. Um, but I'm going to teach you how to do the texture using the tissue paper. So it is going to be March 12th and 13th. Now that is a Sunday and a Monday. You do not have to be present. The video will be for you to look at it any time later. But the 12th will be in the afternoon and uh, the 13th will be in the evening. And I'm going, and we have to have two days for the fact that when I teach you this technique, uh, you're going to need it to dry overnight. So we will actually do the uh, tissue paper technique on your canvas that Sunday afternoon. And then we will let that dry overnight. And then Monday we will start in with the painting. It's going to be a lot of fun. So uh, I am going to put a link in the comments uh, that you can get the tracer. Now the tracer, what a tracer is, and I'm kind of... Uh, pushing that this year. I haven't usually done that because I like to teach people how to kind of uh, easily sketch different things when they're uh, starting a painting. But uh, this year I've had a lot of uh, people that have preferred the tracers actually. So I'm going to leave that as an option on my painting classes and events, but I'm going to provide a tracer. Now this, this is what you call a tracer. It's just a simple line line work black on a white paper and you can receive that in the email if you request it you can receive that in an email and all you do is just print that out so it's real easy peasy and then you use that on your canvas and I've got a video on my Facebook page showing you exactly how to do that so it's a lot easier now this little guy he's pretty simple right he's he's not too hard at all He's not too hard to sketch. So normally I would have people go ahead and just sketch that out and I would teach you how. But if you're talking about something like this, it's a little bit more detailed. People get, sometimes people get a little uncomfortable. They get a little stressed when they have to sketch. So that's the reason this year I'm kind of offering it uh, as an option. You don't have to use it. If you're comfortable with doing that and, and sketching, then that's fantastic. But for those that are not at a different stage in their painting uh, journey or their art, artistic journey, then that's okay too, right? There's no right or wrong in this. So, um, hi Sharon. <laughs> um, so anyway, if you have not got, this is a free tracer here for Little Hoot that we will be doing March in March. I'm going to be building up and telling you more and more about that, but it's going to be a fun two-day workshop. And like I said, you can come in, you can re-watch whenever you want to, uh, you don't have to be present, and it won't take too long. Uh, Sunday afternoon will not take long at all to do it. So uh, now Monday will be basically all the painting, but you will have all your uh, groundwork done, right? And then we will just start painting. So, uh, anyway, I wanted to hop on you here and let you know about that. <clears throat> also, I am offering a, a package of five tracers. I know some of you have taken advantage of that, and I thank you for that. And this is new for me to offer, too. It's a package of five spring tracers uh, that you can receive. And I'll, let me show them to you real quick. And I will put, uh, if you give me a few minutes, I will put the link in our comments. Here is one tracer. It's a hummingbird with the flowers. Here's the other tracer. It's got some different uh, floral. It's a floral arrangement in the uh, vase with water. Here's a fine little spring bunny. I think this one would be cute too if you uh, duplicated the flowers. Let me look here. Flowers, maybe put another one over here. These are made where you can kind of cut and paste. Once you, once you trace these guys out, you can do however you want. You can eliminate part of it or you can add to it. It just gives you 
the freedom to do that. Here's another one. I really love this one. I think this would be a fun little event. Also, it's just kind of a uh, envelope with some florals in it. And then the one I've already showed you is the bird nest. So uh, I will put the link in there uh, underneath the comments if you are interested in this package. It's a spring tracer package with five tracers. Uh, so if you're interested, just let me know or uh, check out the link, right? Well, I just wanted to holler at you for just a few minutes. Uh, my studio is absolutely a mess, so I did not put uh, the overhead camera on here because you don't want to see my table. <laughs> I don't want to see my table. <laughs> but it's almost time to really seriously clean it off and clean it up because I have got brushes and paints and all kinds of stuff on here. But that's part of it. And that's part of the fun, right? Well, you guys have a good weekend and much love to each one of you. And uh, we will talk soon. Bye-bye.